Hi everyone, I am Sindhu from Digibyte. Welcome to this exciting demo on time series forecasting in Databricks. Today we will explore how we can leverage Databricks AutoML and XGBoost model to predict future trends efficiently. Let's dive in. First, let me quickly explain what exactly is time series forecasting and why it is important. Imagine you are managing a cab service. Today you have enough cabs but not enough drivers. Tomorrow the demand shifts. You need more drivers but fewer cabs available. Would it be great if we could predict these fluctuations in advance? That is where time series forecasting helps. By analyzing historical data, we can optimize resources, reduce costs and make better business decisions. To begin, let's understand the data set we are working with. I collected the data set from Kaggle. We have a CSV file that contains monthly revenue data along with additional business metrics. Here are the key columns. First feature is period. This represents the date of the record and next revenue, the total revenue generated in that period. Sales quantity, the number of units sold and other features like average cost and the average annual payroll of the region. With this data, our goal is to predict future revenue based on the past trends. Now let's see how Databricks makes time series forecasting easier and more efficient with its powerful set of tools. First comes AutoML for forecasting under machine learning. Here you can see forecasting. This automatically selects the best model, tunes hyperparameters and generates forecasts within minimal effort. And also Databricks supports various time series models including ProPet, XGBoost and many other models. Next comes feature engineering under machine learning. Built-in support for time based features and live variables. And Databricks efficiently handles large data sets using distributed computing. Next comes MLflow integration. It seamlessly tracks, register and deploy forecasting models. With these capabilities, Databricks simplifies forecasting, making it faster, scalable, and efficient. Let's now see this in action using Databricks AutoML. Now let me go ahead and click on experiments to try any forecasting model using AutoML. Click on start training and yes, let me select my cluster here and browse the training data set. and click on select. Choose the prediction target column. In my case, it is revenue. Select the time column and set the forecast origin and frequency. And coming to advanced configuration, here we can select the evolution metrics and these are the training frameworks. And now click on start AutoML. And Databricks will automatically try multiple models and suggest the best one. And here you can see the model is getting trained. Once the model is trained, we get a leaderboard of results with key performance metrics like RMSC and MAE. Let us wait for a while. And yes, the model training is done. Here you can see the model is ready to be registered and deployed. Now we can use this model for real-time forecasting. Let me click on view notebook for best model. This is how we can use AutoML in Databricks for time series prediction. Now let us see how to use XGBoost custom model for time series forecasting. And yes, here we are using XGBoost model, importing necessary libraries and loading the data using Spark data frame. We are, we are pre-processing the data to handle missing values. And next comes feature engineering. Here we are using Min-max scalar to normalize the revenue column. Here we are creating the feature store table to store all the features. Let me show you all the features that we are storing in our feature store. This is the table. And yes, here you go. These are the different features we are storing. Going back to the workspace. Prepare data for training using feature columns and we are training XGBoost model with the required parameters. And now we are forecasting the future revenue for the next 15 months. 
Here you can see the visualization of forecasting for the next 15 months. And here we are creating a training set using feature store in Databricks. This enables that the same features are available at inference time. And here we are logging our model. So you can find our logged models here. Let me check. And yes, here you can see we have logged our different models with different versions. If we click on the model, you can see the detailed information about the model we tried and different versions available. Let me go back to the workspace. After logging the model, we are deploying the model for inference. This is the model name and here you can see the model is under staging. Let me show you the model in UI. Click on models under machine learning and here you can see this is the model we tried. And there is a complete information about the model and here are the different versions available. And you can see here the version 4 is under staging. Click on staging. And here we can transition this model into production and use this model for inference. Now this model is under production. Next we can create a serving endpoint for further forecasting. Let me click on serving. Here you can see the option create serving endpoint. Give the endpoint name and select the entity here and select the model that you trained and registered. And yes, here you go. Just click on create. This will create a serving endpoint. Yes, now that we have deployed our model as a serving endpoint, we can use this REST API for future revenue forecast. To wrap up today, we explore time series forecasting with some sample data. Use Databricks AutoML for automated predictions and build a custom XGBoost model for time series forecasting. And finally, register the model in MLflow and predicted future values. In Databricks, forecasting is not just powerful but also easy. Thanks for watching. Feel free to reach out if you have any further queries.